What's up everybody, it's Raf here. Another video in this rescue update tutorial series going over the new mechanics and how to use them. Uh, in this video we've got a roof collapse in a building in Montgomery County. You can see the new Stillwater Tower ladder here. Um, we've also got other new apparatus on scene, new rescue engine, or spare rescue engine I should say. We have the heavy rescue and a new uh, Stillwater engine as well. So we've made it up to the collapse zone. Um, we've actually pretty quickly found the patient. As you may know, these collapse calls are never the same, so the patient will never be in the same place. We just got lucky to have them pretty obvious. So you can grab debris with the mouse. Um, make sure you use Alt to bring up the cursor, so you can specifically grab what piece you want to grab. And you can also grab the patient's limbs um to drag him so he has ragdoll physics and this goes for any EMS call he can now be dragged um so we freed him pretty much we can press H to open up the EMS UI and see his injuries so it looks like he's got some spinal injuries so we want to be careful when moving him we want to splint his fractures so some collapses can take two minutes to pull them out and some can take 20 minutes so I've had some really long operations uh, in multiplayer and in single player with friends uh, working to dig out people so now we are going to go ahead and go and bring up a Stokes basket so we can uh, load him on and get him out of here most engines only carry a backboard Ladder companies carry Stokes baskets and squad and rescues will carry both. So that's good to know uh, when you're looking for one. Uh, here we're heading back up with our Stokes basket to package the patient and pull him out. While we're standing near the patient, with either the Stokes basket in our hand or dropped, we'll go to treatments and move to Stokes basket. And that will place the patient in the Stokes basket and we can carry him like so. Remember, if you hold C, it will freeze the camera, allowing you to uh, grab an object and move it, such as the patient or debris, without the camera moving at the same time. So that's useful in many different occasions. Using the scroll wheel, we'll pull if you scroll down the object you have grabbed towards you and if you scroll it up will push it out away from you and right clicking will throw that object that you have grabbed so here we're gonna load the patient onto the stretcher he can be loaded once he's on a backboard or a stokes basket and you can transport them as you would uh, the usual so now we're going to move into more of a serious collapse. This is in Brooklyn. We have a collapse with fire. Looks like a uh, multiple dwelling exploded. And there's people trapped. So first thing we're going to do is put the fire out. Now that we've got the fire out, we're going to start our search. So luckily in this situation, we already were able to spot the victim from outside. So we know where to start looking. But like I said, every collapse is different, and they will always spawn the victims in different places, in different situations, so... Um, this is one of the collapse that has rebar, so we're able to use our torch. Now this is able to cut through rebar and other metal objects, while the concrete drill cuts through, uh, you know, concrete bricks or cement slabs and things like that. So here we're going to pull out the uh, concrete drill and get this big slab of bricks out of the way. So I'll time lapse this again uh, while I work on extricating this guy. So I spent this time uh, just working on trying to pull him out, seeing where he was stuck. I noticed he was impaled um, by rebar, so I was cutting all the rebar around him and then managed to find the rebar that was impaling him. I cut that out and he stopped uh, shaking so much so once we got him unimpaled we went ahead and pulled him out I ran out and grabbed the Stokes basket came back inside 
and we go ahead and move them onto the Stokes basket. And from here we can grab the Stokes basket. And this is one of those cases where if you're having trouble with the camera, just hold C and it will stop the camera from moving, allowing you to grab whatever it is that's in your viewpoint. And we'll go ahead and slide him down the uh, portable ladder and bring him out to safety. Once he was on the street, I uh, went ahead and checked his condition, which usually you should do when they're still inside, but uh, I just forgot. But that's how some collapses will go, where you'll have large slabs of concrete and, and rebar that are difficult to move. You can use your torch and your concrete drill. And yeah, that's the basics of collapses, the more you know.